This video is going to talk about how to import data using Power Pivots. Power Pivot is a free add-in to Microsoft Excel 2010. It gives users the flexibility to import data from various sources such as Access, Text Files, and SQL Server to be able to summarize, cross-tabulate, refresh, and create relational databases in Excel. In simple words, this feature has the ability of pivot charts and pivot tables to update data from SQL Server or Access or any other text sources on real-time basis. It can also create association tables and relational databases such that redundancies can be minimized. It can also do mass data analysis in a matter of seconds. It can handle as many as 100 million rows and 2 GB worth of data can be saved in Power Pivots. So let's see how we can import data from Power Pivot. Click on Power Pivot tab. Click on Power Pivot window under Launch. Another window will pop up. In the Home tab, you will see something called Get External Data. You can import data from various sources such as from SQL Server, from Access, from Analysis Services, from View in SQL Server, from Data Feeds, from Text Files. We're going to click on From Other Sources. Another window will pop up. We're going to go all the way at the bottom. Click on Excel File under Text Files because we're going to import data from Excel File. Click Next. We know that the first row of our Excel file consists of column headers. Therefore, we are going to click this box. Click on Browse. Select the data that you want to import. Click Open. Click on Next. Select the table which you would like to import the data from and go ahead and preview that. Everything looks just about right, so I'm going to click OK. Click Finish. Depending on how large your file is, it's going to take that long. In the middle, if you would like to stop the import, you can go ahead and click Stop Import. But we're not going to do that. I'm going to simply click Close. And here you have your data imported in a matter of seconds. In the next movie, we're going to learn how to create relational databases. Hope this was useful. This video was brought to you by CXL Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXL Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxlmath.com. Thank you.